hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how the admin of microsoft team can make changes in microsoft team portal at background level so that any user student or faculty can reset their own password by themselves usually what happens by default the password reset is done by the administrator of your college or school who is uh, managing the microsoft teams but in this video i am going to show you this video is actually for the administrator or the person who is having admin level privilege of the microsoft teams uh, in their college or school okay so it will be very helpful for them because uh, usually when some reset password activity has to be done when some student request that uh, they have forgotten their password or they need to change their password they need to first contact the microsoft team administrator and administrator have to uh, reset the password so i am going to show, show you some steps we will make some changes in uh, microsoft 365 admin center so that admin don't have to do this task all the users all the faculty and student who are using microsoft team they can reset their password by their own so uh, first of all i want to give you some tip uh, for using microsoft team multiple account whenever you are logging into multiple account for example i am having my own uh, microsoft team id as well as i am having a, a admin level team id for my college so i am having two account even if uh, without that also if you are having two or three microsoft team account then never open that all account in the normal window of google chrome okay open one common account which you are using continuously in this uh, normal uh, google chrome window all other account you go to new incognito window and open there otherwise you will face some problem while uh, using multiple uh, teams account okay teams or office 365 office account so right now i am going to new incognito window i will show you here only now i go to uh, teams uh, dot microsoft dot com let me go to office dot com okay uh, now i am signing in with my account basically you can go here with uh, team uh, account also no problem so log in with your just go to the teams dot uh, microsoft teams website and log in with your admin pre admin uh, id you have to remember here you can make these changes only if you have admin level privilege given to you for microsoft teams so if you are a normal user then ca you cannot do these changes okay you should have admin level privilege if you are normal user also and if your admin is assigning you admin level privileges then you can do but is recommendable that uh, these changes has to be done by the admin of the microsoft team of your college or school or any company or organization in which you are working okay so i am logging with that give your yes or you can give no also that is not a problem use web app instead click on web app instead now uh, this is your team uh, admin portal your admin uh, login admin id login you go to here okay the nine dots now go to microsoft 365 from here okay click on here the nine dots then go to microsoft 365 now if you are admin if you are logged in with your admin credentials then you will find this admin here 
if you have not logged in with your admin credentials then you will not find your admin okay the, that's why i told you this setting can be done only by the admin of your college click on admin now you will get uh, admin portal of uh, microsoft uh, office that is 365 microsoft 365 admin center now what you have to do from here you have to go to this show all okay then from show all you have to go to azure active directory azure active directory will open after going to azure active directory you have to again go to this left side and again click on azure active directory now this is the page where admin can do many changes okay so right now i am going to you can uh, uh, look around it and uh, find some uh, configuration that is helpful for you but it is recommendable that you don't make much changes here because if you make some changes here uh, then it will affect the whole organization's id okay old tenants id it will be affected so right now i am going to show you how to set this password reset uh, change these settings so that your faculty and your student uh, can uh, change their own password without contacting you from here you have to find password reset see here there is a password reset okay click on that now see i had already done these changes so i am getting here all in your portal in your admin login you will get here none because by default when uh, microsoft admin or microsoft teams uh, ids are created at admin level by default microsoft advise you to click uh, keep it none so by default you will have none here okay this highlighted blue portion you will have here none what you have to do you have to just select here all you have to just select here all and then save that's all only this changes has to be done at admin level and your user can reset their password by themselves without contacting you so admin uh, can get relief from the hassle of uh, uh, resetting password every now and then for faculties and uh, students okay now you have to remember here when you make changes here password reset it may take some time to get effected on all id usually it is done uh, quickly but it is advisable that uh, two or four hours you have to give so that the settings can be changed uh, so that's all for this video i hope this video is helpful for you if you think that this video is helpful for you then share this video with uh, all your uh, faculties and user who are having admin level privilege so they can make these changes and uh, it will be helpful for them also i had created one more video in which i had shown you how to log in for the first time after your admin has done uh, this password reset changes because when the admin will do this password reset property change first time when your uh, user your organization user school or or, uh, or college user will log in for the first time after this password reset property has been applied then they have to give the email and mobile number only first time okay so that they can reset their password using that email and mobile number i had uploaded a separate video for that so share that video with your students and faculty member who want to reset their password i had shown all the steps 